here's Multi and welcome to the 11th episode of the season series where we go through every NHL team in the alphabetical order and speculate their uh, possible roster for the next season. In my eyes, from my opinions, uh, if you have your opinion, be sure to tell it in the comments down below. I'll check them when they start getting there and maybe you can give me some suggestions what I should and can do to make this episode better for you. As I've said in the next episode, but the 10th team and it's time for us Dallas Stars. In these episodes we go through their Wikipedia page, their possible roster that their official NHL.com site has given to them. I think that's pretty much the last year's roster plus some couple of free agent signings or some trades that happened in the summertime. And we also take a look at the possible uh, prospects that they may have on their system and will have. But as I've said, we start Wikipedia and hopefully you guys enjoy. Let's get there. And here we guys have, have it. As I said, uh, Dell Stars is the today's team that we're going to take a look at. They play in the Western Conference in the Central Division and they were founded in the 1967. A uh, very uh, solid team for many years. Uh, has won, I think they won uh, one Stanley Cup and were two times the conference championship ca champions. They've got some really solid legends that have played there, including the Finnish uh, legend uh, Jerry Latinen and Mike Modano, Marty Turco, and that sort of stuff. Uh, Join New and I, I think, uh, was the manager for them. I'm sure he's still anymore, but I'll check it when we get back to the top. And they were known for a long time as uh, Minnesota North Stars. But at the moment, they are adult stars, and that's fine. They also changed their logo a couple of seasons ago. And I like it either way. They had a really solid logo before the change uh, and after the change it's really great looking also uh, sim similar the last logo that they had was similar to their AHL's team logo so uh, that's an interesting fact very similar as I've said but in every episode we will take a look have taken a look for season by season regard for every team so far so let's keep going on that row and here's the season record on the starters point of view as we can see from here the last five seasons they've only qualified for the playoffs once which isn't that good for the team last season i think they were uh, pretty close to being in the in the playoffs as we can see six in the central uh, i'm not sure how many points was it that they had many OT losses last season 10 and if you can get that, those two wins then you get 5 more points and I think if you're close to 100 points in the regular season you're most likely to be in the playoffs but as I've said last season did not qualify and they were in the next Two seasons, ago, two seasons ago, they were in the playoffs and lost to the Anaheim Ducks in the conference quarterfinals. And in these recent years, they've also been a very close one. As we can see, even though where they were fourth in the Pacific Division, Division, they still didn't qualify in 11-12 season. So I take a look at their manager very quickly, uh, it's, it's Jim Neal, uh, 
I think Joy knowing that was part of this organization for a while. But if they've changed their manager, it's fine then. But now we take a look at the possible roster for the Dallas team next season. And here we have them guys. As usual I picked the most interesting players in my opinion and tell little facts about them and we start with their captain Jamie Ben was one of the best play players last season for the for the whole league I think he won the point scoring stats last season I think it was uh, 87 or 88 points very huge for a player that he is a very good player overall and then we Take a look at uh, Valery Nichuskin, young Russian player who last season, I, in my eyes, got the breakthrough season. I think he played for a while in the top first line with second and Ben. So that's how you raise the young kids. And then we take Tyler Sagan. I think he was the first. A second overall in the draft in some years ago. As definitely Grun is still very young as we can see. Or in 92, I think he's 23 at the moment or 24. That doesn't matter that much. But still uh, has been in a couple teams. I think he was in Boston. But I think Boston got his got the pick that Sagan was taken by changing by trading the by trading uh, Phil Kessel to Toronto Maple Leafs uh, Toronto Maple Leafs and now Kessel is at Pittsburgh and then other player that we also took a look is Patrick Sharp last season's Stanley Cup winner very solid uh, I play him as left winger but he shoots from the right so that's a very good quality in my eyes for left winger. Normally left wingers play do have the left handed shot, but uh, Sharp has right handed shot. Uh, Jason Spezza many years played for out of the Senators, but not anymore. Last season played also in Dallas. I'm not sure how his points went, but I think his career has came a little bit down downwards I remember in the Ottawa the line with that had uh, Danny Heatley on his best form I think he scored 50 goals and then on the center there was Phil Spezza very solid there and Daniel Alfredson was on the right wing but that's from it then we take a look at the defenseman and Jason Demers came from a trade was it last season or the season before that from San Jose Sox I'm not sure who was it for but a really solid uh, right hand shooter Yurki Okipaka I'm not gonna take a closer look even though <laughs> I was about to but yeah definitely had his breakthrough season last season hopefully we'll start also in the NHL NHL side because I think he's a very solid defenseman. Uh, his junior team was a Ilves in the Finnish Elite League. But now he plays for Dallas, hopefully. Uh, John Klingberg, definitely one of the unexpected uh, positive rookies last season. Played for the whole league. Many people didn't even know him, but he got his chance at Dallas's blue line and definitely had a breakthrough season there. Uh, Johnny Adui, I'm not gonna take a closer look, but still was the Stanley Cup champion last season. Uh, played, but I think he wanted some change for his career. And it's really tough to be on the blue line of the Chicago Blackhawks because there are my many solid players there. But I think Aruya is a solid, good 
defenseman with uh, quality offensive and defensive my game. Uh, then the goalie pairing. I'm not sure when the, when was the last time that two Finns were the first and the second goalie for the team, but now it has happened for Dallas. They got Antiniemi from San Jose from a trade that included, I think it was seventh round pick for San Jose. That tells you about the San Jose team that they want to create something new there. And I think giving up uh, Antiniemi, a solid goaltender, uh, was a good trade for Dallas. Even though Anti had a tough season last season. And then probably the starting goaltender, Kerry Lehnon, uh, has been a pretty solid key for the Dallas' whole team. And they were. Sometimes he hasn't been on this top of his game, but when he is, he is unbeatable. And now we take a closer look at all of these players that I chose. Uh, for, starting with Jamie Benn, as I said, was the uh, point scoring leader last season for the whole T national team and uh, for the National Hockey League as we can see 87 points and with 35, 35 goals definitely a goal scorer and all, you get also a lot of assists when you play with Tyler Sagan here who also is a goal scoring and that playmaker kind of guy a uh, little bit surprising fact for me that he was on only a fifth round pick for Dallas, but they saw some potential on him and definitely has got to that because in his rookie season got 41 points and after that we can only say that his career has gone better and better year after year. So definitely one, one of the bet better left wingers in the whole league. Then Valery Nichushkin, left-handed right-wing player, uh, first first round pick for Dallas, 10th overall. Uh, Russia creates uh, very good uh, goal scorers. Last season didn't play that much. I think he had some injury problems then, but in the 13-14 season, a solid season for them. 34. Points in a rookie season is very good for this for a player. He's very young, so he's got lots of time to develop, and hopefully we'll get a clear season next season. Uh, Tyler Sagan, one of the better centers in the whole league, definitely after last season we can say that. Uh, as I said, was the Boston's second overall pick in the 2010s and three draft in first round he definitely has had a couple of good seasons in these in 13 and to 15 over 160 points in two of those combined nearly 40 goals that's uh, very good for him he's got a quality shots he likes likes to take shots so definitely looks for the passes but knows when to do shoot himself as well a uh, very deadly pairing with Ben and probably uh, just goodness season I hope uh, Patrick Sharp a uh, little bit of older guy at the moment was originally drafted by Philadelphia Flyers in the third round in the 01 entry draft definitely his career has came a little bit down last season only 43 points and before that, he nearly got the same amount of goals in the season, but I think that tells, I'm not sure where, in what line of, was he playing for Chicago, probably in the second or third line. He also missed some games, so that may have influenced his game, but definitely a solid player, played in the Canada Olympics team that won the gold medal in the Sochi Olympics in 2014. And then Jason Spezza, he, I think he has also played for the Canadian national team, as we can see. Second overall pick in the 01 entry draft, at uh, the same draft where Patrick Sharp went in the third round for Philadelphia. 
a great good uh, uh, stats in some of his later, uh, earlier seasons in Senators, over 90 points on his best season, 92, uh, definitely that sort of uh, passer. But last season was his first for stars and uh, it also saw, saw it in my eyes because nearly 50 assists is a quality for a sender that most likely plays in the second line. And then we take a look at these defensemen. Uh, Jason Demers, 7th round pick for them. Uh, played in the lockout season for Olum Karpat in the Finnish Elite League. I remember him because I really I'd, I'd like look for this guy because he's a really solid defenseman in all, all right with stats definitely doesn't score that many points even though 35 goals and 35 points on his best season is quality but uh, that second third lining quality defenseman in my eyes John Klingberg one of the young Youngsters in the blue line of the Dallas last season, as I've said, definitely the breakout breakthrough season and also rookie season. Uh, 40 points in rookie season as a defenseman who nobody has <laughs> never heard of. I think that's how you would say because definitely came a surprise for me that came to this team. And I think he, as we can see, the 11 12 season. I remember that he played for Jokerit in the Finnish Elite League. Then now Jokerit is in the KHL still. Uh, it wasn't, he wasn't that great at the time, but he's developed a lot. As we can see, he's played in the World Junior Championship. So in the earlier days, he's also got potential and went in the NHL's entry draft in the fifth round in 2010. And then the goaltender was acquired from that included Ivan Vishnevsky and fourth round pick, which is not that much for the goalie that he is at the moment. And then it was Atlanta, known today as Winnipeg Jets. Definitely has had a lot of potential, and I think he's done solid work reaching that second overall pick for Atlanta back then and now is the starting goalie for the team probably will share like nearly I think 60-40 in percentage I'd say Lehtonen will play a little bit more of the games than Niemi but still one of the most solid golden pairings in the whole league then, as usual, we take a look at the Dallas Stars' prospects, and that that jumped my eyes. Uh, Radek Faxa, uh, no, not that. That is a Czech Republican center. I think he played for Kitchen Rangers. Don't know did he play for the AHL last season? A very solid one. Uh, Aaron Hayden. Uh, no, I think this US and I'm not sure in the, what round did he went, so I'm not gonna take a closer look at him. Uh, Julius Hanka, a uh, Finnish solid defenseman, very young. Uh, I think many of Finns call him the Finnish Eric Carson, same sort of game abilities, so like that offensive making plays and that sort of stuff. Definitely will be one of the key players for the future in the Delta Stars' blue line next season. I think he play plays for the AHL team, but after that, the sky is the limit for him. And when you compare him to Eric Carson, everybody knows that Carson is way better than him, but that's just how the media works. It's a Lindell and Alexi Makalev both Finnish players, I think they both, uh, well at least Makala plays in the Finnish Elite League, but Lindell may go to the HL next season, hopefully works out for his career. Jamie Alexiak, I think he should have played in the 
Superstar Organization, a very big guy, likes to hit, isn't that great of a skater, but if you've got that re great reach, then you are very physical, that can work as your advantage. Uh, Jack Campbell, there, a very solid goalie, a very young, most likely will be the third goalie for the team, and because he's young, hopefully we'll see his breakthrough season, even though there's a decent calling pairing, a solid, let's say. And I'm not gonna take a look at Henry Kiviaho. He is the goalie from mine. He was born, uh, he, he played for Kalba in the Finnish Elite League. And a very solid one then he was, then he went to the North America and now he plays for Ilves in the Finnish Elite League so definitely tries to get his career back on track in the Finnish Elite League and we'll see how it goes after that. Uh, now we take a closer look at this, Redek Faxa 13th overall in the 2012 entry draft has played for a Chelsea team, probably will play there another season there's quality centers in the team and I think uh, Faxa is the scoring player so he def de his def potential definitely isn't in the third or fourth line I think he's a second liner in potential uh, Julius Hanka definitely potential has got to be uh, in the first line Definitely very solid seasons for Swift Current Broncos, for example, in their WHL Western Hockey League, and definitely had a great season last season for the Texas Stars AHL team. Probably will there play there another year. He needs to get a little bit more physical and well, better at skating if you compare him to Eric Carson. You know, he's a quality quality skater and finding the place, so maybe a little bit more game vision as well. Jamie Alexiak, a Canadian, first overall pick for Dallas, 14th overall in the 2011th. And as we can see, last season had his breakthrough season to the roster of the, star, of the Stars. Most likely will start in the NHL because I don't see that there's that many great defensemen that shoot from the left hand side. There's Johnny Aruya, Alex Galigoski and let's take a quick look, Yoki Paka. So I think there's a possibility that he'll play for them. But on the other hand, another season for AHL wouldn't be bad. But I think he's reached the limits for men so definitely his height and weight is, has come to a positive side for him and Jack Campbell then and definitely one of the best prospects in net at the moment in my eyes played for world champ ships that season and for Tech Stars it seems like he didn't have that great season but he's got potential was the first round pick so but hopefully we'll get his chance at playing in the net for the stars next season and that's the roster and prospects done so now we have to make a conclusion will they make the will they make the playoffs next season i think with the offense that they have in Zegin, ben spezza sharp all these quality players and in anichuskin uh, russell uh, ikin in the younger younger guys They've got great potential there. Uh, same thing with defensemen, very uh, quality defensemen that don't aren't in the like in the sky level. 
they aren't that solid yet and that special but they can very well do the defensive job with two quality goalies so I expect Dell Stars hockey team to reach the playoffs so as I've said guys tell your opinions on the comments next time we will go through the Detroit Red Wings organization their prospect and that sort of stuff so check the previous episodes if you enjoy this please leave a like also if you enjoy but till the next time remember guys you saw nothing bye